Hello everyone. Welcome back. This video will guide you on how to send private messages and a common message to all your recipients in bold sign. A private message is a confidential and personalized message sent to a specific recipient. It's designed to maintain utmost confidentiality by remaining hidden from other recipients. This is especially useful in situations where you need to communicate sensitive feedback, trade secrets, or discuss legal matters. Now, let's talk about common messages. These are general communications, notifications, or instructions that apply to all the recipients of your document. Let's consider a scenario where a project manager at a software development company and his team has completed the analysis of the project requirements and the preparation of the proposal. Now, he has reached the phase of sending out the final contract to our client for their signature. In addition to this, he also needs the internal manager to conduct a thorough review and provide their approval by signing the contract. To ensure that the process runs smoothly and efficiently, he will be sending specific instructions to each recipient involved through private messages. This will help to maintain clear communication and ensure that everyone knows their role in this important stage of the project. Let me explain how to do that in detail. To start this process, the first step is to access the Bold Sign application page. Here, I'll click on the Create New button. Then I'll opt for Create New Document, which takes me to the Prepare Document page. Here, I'll upload the project contract form from my computer by clicking the Browse button. Now, when it comes to adding the recipient's information, I'll head over to the Add Recipient section and input the client's details. To include a private message specifically for the client, I'll click on the Settings drop-down menu and activate the Private Message option. This allows me to enter a personalized message that is meant exclusively for the client. Moving forward, I will enter the details for the internal manager. To attach a private message for the internal manager, I will activate the private message option by clicking on the settings drop down menu and then input the message accordingly. Since the internal manager is required to approve the contract before the client, I will also enable the signing order option and arrange for the internal manager to sign the contract in advance of the client. Now, I will scroll down to the document section. In the message field, I'll enter a common message intended for both recipients. Once that's done, I'll proceed by clicking the next button, which will guide me to the configure fields page. This is where I will configure the form fields according to the needs. Within the client details section, I will organize the form by dragging and dropping the name and email fields into their respective slots, ensuring that the name and email details are appropriately placed. As a final step, I'll also drag and drop the signature fields, making sure to include spaces for both the internal manager and the client to provide their signatures. Before sending the document out for signatures, I'll take a moment to review all the changes I've made, ensuring everything is in order. Once I'm satisfied with the document setup, I'll proceed to send it out for signatures. This is how this concept works. Let's consider switching to the signer's side and see how the private and common messages are displayed. In the signature request email received by the internal manager, both the common and private messages are displayed. The expiry date of the signature request is also displayed. When I click the review and sign button, I am navigated to the signing page where the private and common messages are displayed. Similarly, the client will receive their unique message along with the common one in their email and on the signing page. That summarizes the significance of private and common messages in a signature request. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to our channel for more bold sign tutorial videos.